My name is Roger L. Humphreys. Uh, I'm a drummer. I come from a musical family, uh, uncles and brothers who played and what have you. And, and like uh, I've been in Pittsburgh all my life, born and raised here on the north side. And um, the story that I could tell you would take too much time if I told you all about it. So let me give you just a part of it. My uncle Frank Humphreys, my uncle Hildred, their famous names, and I had a brother named Lawrence who played saxophone, Norman who played the drum, Teddy Humphrey who played keyboards, okay? And another cousin, uh, Sonny Stark, plus sisters who sang and everything, okay? So uh, I started playing at the age of three and a half years old, and at the age of uh, 14, I, I did my first big show, I think it was Carnegie Music Hall, okay? Uh, here in Pittsburgh, with a bunch of my friends, P. Henderson and, and some others. And uh, Art Blakey and Max Roach were my two mentors because I met them at a very young age at the Crawford Grill. And I've been playing ever since. You know, once you get bit by the bug, you can't let it go. So that's my story. <laughs> One of the tunes I started playing at an early age and that meant so much to me uh, later on and it's called the A train because as a kid uh, my family would take the, the train to go up to New York City 770 St. Nicholas Avenue where my grandmother and my uncle and them lived and then later on you start connecting the A train going from downtown up to Harlem you know and it was such a wonderful tune and it, you know, like uh, we're playing it tonight, and every time I play it, I get more out of the, the composition. You know, I, every time you listen to it, there's more to it than the first time you played it. If you want to go to the Hilton If you listen, you can hear the tracks of To me, he left so much for us because uh, he started at such an early age when he was like 16 years old. And, and it always made me feel like uh, Billy coming up, he didn't have an easy life. And it always gave me like encouragement as I try to feed to the younger musician. You can do anything you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do because many times I'm quite sure people 
and families tell you, you want to be a musician? Oh, no, I don't think you want to be that because they're thinking about you're not making money and all what have you. But when you have a gift like Billy Strayhorn had, you can almost do anything. And he, and he proved it, you know, with the music that he wrote and the legacy that he left behind. young musicians and they're moving it forward by being very creative in their own way because Billy Strayhorn was a very creative musician and I don't hear the, exactly the same thing out of the musician, the young ones, but I hear their creativity, you know, that, uh, that he had the same way even when he was coming up. And I think he left that to them, you know, he gives them hope all the time, like at his early age, at the age of 16, if he could do that, you can do it too, you know, in the world of music. thing every time I play one of his tunes that I played before I find something new in it <laughs> every time and it's also it's great that you know you can collectively put musicians they're not always the same band but it's nice when you you have that many good talented musicians in the city of Pittsburgh that you can call in and play his music <laughs> playing jazz and so therefore every one of them knows something about Billy Strayhorn and I, I did I had help selecting some of the guys because uh, they're younger musician what I am and so therefore it becomes like a family okay another young one know another one another young one know this one so by the time I gave uh, uh, some of the guys a call that I need to help me get the music together Okay, they say, well, we'll call him, we'll call the other one, and before you realize it. And what is nice, man, is because it's, it gives people, the younger musician, chance to be exposed to uh, who Billy Strayhorn music is. And we all don't get a chance to play with all the different bands. <laughs>
more music schools <laughs> and more, you know, encouraging more young people to play the music. Sometimes we don't get a chance to, to uh, expose them to this music which was uh, brought to America back in New Orleans, you know, and uh, the legacy of jazz is something else, you know. And matter of fact, from the jazz, they create all kind of different styles of music. 